All right, yeah, so comment your questions. Happy to see all y'all in here from different areas. So what's some things I want to touch on first? Alkaline diet is going to get rid of diseases, period. Illnesses, disease cannot live in an alkaline body, all right? So the problem is most of our diets are too acidic. Why are they acidic? They're acidic because we're eating nothing but acidic foods. You're like, well, I don't think I'm eating acidic foods. You are because you're eating nothing but starches, especially in America, right? You eat nothing but starch for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Your white rice, your brown rice, your cereals, your... You pretty much have a starch for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and probably in your, in your uh, snack too, right? So what is starch? It's acidic, which causes acid in the body, which is where the le disease lives, right? So we got to start removing the acid, which is also acidic, right? Chicken. Why is it acidic? Chicken produces uric acid, right? So that's more acid you're putting into your body, even though you're eating a piece of grilled chicken, you think you're doing something healthy. No, you're adding more acid to your body, right? And if you're eating red meat, what is that doing, Right? That's clogging up your arteries. That's why we have all these blood clots, blood flow issues, poor circulation, men erectile dysfunction, women have a bunch of issues, right? So the red meat's doing that, then you're getting your iron from your red meat, but it's heme iron, it's not iron fluorine. The iron from your red meat is heme iron. That's not good iron. The iron you want is iron fluorine, which comes from your plants, right? So when you're getting that bad heme iron, heme iron is also carcinogenic, which we always talk about in the videos. Carcinogenic means it's more cancer causing, right? That's just by itself. Then once you cook the red meat, you're heating the meat, the chicken, the pork, the red meat, any meat at all. Once you heat it, it makes it more carcinogenic, which it'll tell you on cancer.gov, which it'll tell you on Cancer Institute of America. But as I always say, they know we're not reading this stuff, right? It'll give you a warning. Once you heat your meat, it makes it more carcinogenic, more cancer causing. If you have cancer, maybe you should start limiting your meat intake, reducing it or get rid of it completely, right? But they know we're not reading this stuff, right? So there's that. Thank you all for sharing the live. Share this live. Let's get more people in here. Let's heal more people. Let's get people naturally healed of these illnesses, right? So what do we want to talk about? Y'all know I'll be all over the place, right? Let's talk about let's talk about water first. I really want to talk about water. I get a lot of questions. What water? I only drink alkaline water. I'm good. Let's start from, okay, I got three different waters here, right? We got this. We got this. And we got this. So what are each of them? This is purified water. This is purified water, right? Then we have mountain spring water, 100% mountain spring water, right? Then we have essential. This is Essentia. This is the brand. It's alkaline water, right? It says it has a 9.5 pH or higher, right? Ionized hydration. So which water should we be getting? Let's start from... Purified water. Your purified water, what that means is they have a much stricter process on how they handle the water before it's sent out. So mean, meaning they have to put it through a process of getting rid of a lot of the minerals in it, right? So once they get rid of the minerals in it, now it doesn't have the natural minerals in it anymore, right? So this one, for example, is purified drinking water. Doesn't have any ingredients, but it's purified, meaning that they stripped it of the bad stuff and they stripped it of the good stuff, the good natural minerals that would come from natural springs, right? So I don't recommend purified drinking water, okay? Because they have a much stricter process before they can put the water out to purify it. They pretty much have to, it's pretty much processed water to keep it simple, okay? Then next we have mountain spring water, all right? This brand, we want to look at the ingredients because when we talk about water, what do we want it to be? We want it to be water, okay? If it has a bunch of ingredients, that's not necessary for water for your body, all right? So this one doesn't have ingredients, 100% mountain spring water. It tells you what springs it's from in California, blah, 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 right? This is going to be your best source of water, right? Because when it's mountain spring water, it still has the natural minerals from the natural springs, Okay, so a lot of people, if you're dealing with like eczema, skin issues and stuff like that, you can go to like a lot of the natural springs in like middle America, um, close to Utah, Idaho and places like that. They have natural springs. You go to them and you can like swim in it and stuff and it'd be like 100 degrees just naturally. You can go in the wintertime. One time I was having um, eczema on my wrist and stuff like that from wearing like watches and stuff. Went there and then I got like this rash out outbreak. This was like two years ago. I went there. 
all the rashes were gone. I had like a bunch of rashes on my stomach. I went to the natural springs, got rid of it. So when you're drinking your water, you want it to be natural spring water, meaning they don't have to take it through the process which strips all the natural minerals in it, right? So you would want it to be 100% natural spring water. There shouldn't be any ingredients on your water. This one's purified drinking water. There's no ingredients, but we know it's purified, which means it's processed. So it got rid of all the natural minerals and trace minerals that are in your spring water. All right. So this is the one you're going to want to go with. Whatever brand it is, just read it. Make sure there's no ingredients. Make sure it's 100% mountain spring water. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, right? I thought alkaline water. You preach nothing but alkalinity. Alkaline water this, alkaline this, alkaline that. Right. We want the body to be alkaline, but we want the correct alkaline stuff, right? Okay, so don't be fooled. You've heard me talk about this in other videos, right? Let me get a sip of my shake real quick. Hold up. Smoothie, all right, fruit smoothie. So this is promoted. Essentia, you see it in all the gas stations, all that, right? Over achieving H2O, right? 9.5 or higher, meaning they're promoting this as alkaline water, right? Because anything above about 7.3 is considered alkaline. So they know that the world is getting more woke and hearing the word alkaline more, right? So what are they going to do? They're going to profit off of that. Oh, you think you're getting smart? Bet. Here goes some alkaline water for your ass, right? So <laughs> what we got, it's promoted as alkaline, 9.5 or higher. But then we turn it around and it's got like six ingredients, right? Your water doesn't need to have ingredients. Water is natural. It's natural spring water. It comes naturally from the earth. If there's ingredients in your water, it's no longer water. It's something else. I don't care how healthy you can Google every ingredient and everyone will tell you, oh, it actually has no, um, causes no health issues. All right. It's healthy for you. Blah, blah, blah. This is why we added it. No, you don't need to add shit to my damn water. All right. Keep your hands off my water. Right. <laughs> so this has six ingredients. So it's alkaline, but it has six ingredients. So therefore this is no longer water. It looks like water. It tastes like water. It smells like water if water has a smell to it. But this is no longer water because you added six damn ingredients to it, right? Then if you're saying these ingredients are good, right, then you're insinuating that you added healthy minerals to it. Why would you need to add minerals to a natural occurring water? That's why there's minerals in 100% spring water, which is what you want to go with. So then we start to analyze chemicals, right? So when you analyze chemicals, you start to learn a lot of chemicals. If you test them with a pH strip, right? They're going to come up as, excuse me, <coughs> got some fruit stuck in my throat. They're going to come up as alkaline, right? If we test chlorine that you clean your pools with, guess what? It's alkaline. If we test bleach, guess what? It's alkaline. Does that mean that you should be drinking it? No. So what they did was they added chemicals to this water to raise the pH, right? To a 9.5. So yeah, it's a 9.5 pH, so it's alkaline water. That doesn't mean that it's good for you, right? Alkaline water does not damage your kidneys. It's about getting the correct alkaline water. If your water is alkaline, it should be alkaline naturally, right? So then we talk about, well, I thought if, if we're not getting this alkaline water, we should get the spring water. Is the spring water alkaline? That's the question. And then we're not dealing with the purified water because that's processed water, even though it doesn't have any ingredients, right? They stripped all the good natural minerals that are in the mountain spring water from the purified water, okay? So, also with this, you're paying like $6 for this. This is like $6, right? Plus, if you're in California, you got taxes and shit like that. So, you pay $6 for this because they upcharge in your ass because they're like, oh, you thought you got smart. You think alkaline's healthy? Great. We're going to put some alkaline water out. We're going to add some bunch of ingredients to make sure it's alkaline. So, if you was to test it, it is going to show up alkaline. We're going to charge your ass. And now, we're going to make way more money, right, off of giving you something that's still not the best source for you, right? That's <laughs> how it works. It's all about making money, making profit, making, continuing to make the trillions a year off of us buying unhealthy foods, off of us being sick, off of us being on subscriptions to these prescription medications, right? Because these are payments we got to make monthly for the rest of our life because we done got sick and we don't know how to get off of the medications, right? So now we talk about, is this alkaline? Well, guess what? If you were to go that far and you test it and it's not alkaline, and then we know this has natural occurring minerals in it, but what we can also do is we can add Himalayan pink salt to our water. So worst case scenario, if you got to pick up one of these cheap waters or one of these expensive waters that are actually cheap for your body, right? What you can do is you add, you add pink Himalayan sea salt to it. That gives it the minerals. So let's say we needed to drink this purified water. We're on the road. We got, this is all the water we can find locally, right? 
what we'll do is because it's purified, meaning it's processed, meaning they remove the natural minerals from it. What we're going to do is we're going to add pink Himalayan salt to this, which remineralizes the water and it automatically makes it alkaline. So now if you test it, it'll come up alkaline on the pH drip. So we remineralize it with the natural minerals that are in pink Himalayan salt. We're not dealing with white salt. We're not dealing with white sugar. We're not dealing with white bread. None of that. It's not a racist thing. It's just a health thing, okay? <laughs> I'm mixed, so you can't call me racist, right? My mom's right. My dad's black, right? But let's not get into that. All right. So, y'all know I just like to joke, right? I'm a joker, right? Just a, a pinch of this. So, I would put like a little funnel or whatever, or sometimes just use my hand, you know, the hood wet. You just put it on it, a little pinch, bang. It's alkaline, shake it, and you're good, right? So, again, your best source, just to recap. All right, just to recap. 100% mountain spring water. It has the minerals in it. Purified water is your worst case scenario, right? Typically, because it's processed, they got rid of all the natural occurring minerals in it. And then you got to watch out for your alkaline waters because typically they'll add ingredients. Now, not all alkaline water is bad. You can find alkaline water in the store. You turn it around, you see it came from natural springs, and you see it doesn't have any ingredients. Those are the brands of the waters you want. You don't want this one because it has five, six ingredients. Some of them you can't even pronounce, I'm sure. And now it's not water anymore. It's something else. It's a chemical. Because again, you can test bleach. You can test chlorine. It's alkaline. That doesn't mean it's good for your body. If you drink it, you're going to end up in the hospital. I had a friend growing up. He's still around, luckily. He done tried to kill himself like five times from drinking bottles of bleach. So if you drink bottles of bleach, not saying this is bleach, but bleach is alkaline, it's still going to put you in the damn hospital, right? And then that gets deeper. We start talking about mental issues. Why do we have mental issues? Because because our colon's damaged. Our colon's sending negative signals to our brain waves. On top of that, our brain's calcified. So we're wondering why we have anxiety, depression, mental issues. We're chasing drugs because we want to escape. We don't realize we want to escape because our diet's so poor. All right? So that's it on water. Actually, that's not it on water. I got one more thing for the water, all right? Chlorophyll. A lot of y'all ask about chlorophyll. I haven't made a video on chlorophyll yet. So when it comes to chlorophyll, this is a really good thing. I actually pointed out today to my girl, right? So she was hitting out. She always puts chlorophyll in her water. I'm like, you know, that's good. Chlorophyll is good for you, right? Hold on. So let's talk about chlorophyll, what it is, why it's good for you. Chlorophyll naturally comes from plants, right? Chlorophyll gives you energy. It also increases your red blood cell count, which is going to allow oxygen to flow to your body, right? Which is going to improve your circulation. A lot of us, our cells aren't getting the oxygen, which also causes illnesses and diseases, right? We know poor circulation, too much mucus in the body are like the number one causes of any disease, right? We can trace those back to any disease, whether it's blindness, poor eyesight, whether it's respiratory issues, whether it's cancer, whether it's diabetes, whatever it is. It's too much mucus built up in the body, too acidic environment in the body, right? And poor circulation, right? So if you just joined and you missed all of what I just went in on, I'm recording this. So this is also going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Let me double check to make sure everything's still recording. All right. We should be good. Make sure y'all back. Yeah, we should be good. So this is going to be uploaded to my YouTube. So if you're just in here, subscribe to the YouTube. Same name, T Walk Talk. Follow me on Instagram, same name, T-Walk the Hawk. I'm recording this, so everything y'all just missed, because I just went in on water, I just went in on what to do to the water, what's the best water. Subscribe to the YouTube. I'm going to upload this tonight or some point throughout the day so y'all can have it to rewatch. because TikTok don't keep my lives, all right? So to get back into chlorophyll, chlorophyll comes from plants. It gives your body energy. It puts gives your body oxygen, right? It builds red blood cells in the body, which helps you have more oxygen in the body, which helps your blood flow and everything like that. Poor circulation causes disease, okay? So with that being said, with anything, we have to watch the brand like we talked about with all the different waters. We have to watch the ingredients like we talked about with the water that has six ingredients in it, right? Which we don't need. So my girl's putting the chlorophyll in the water. You know, I'm like, that's good, right? Because of everything we just talked about, why it's good for you. But then... I turn around, I'm like, let me look, because you know, this is just what I do. I study, I read, I read labels, like, this is what I do for fun. I'm a loser, right? <laughs> I'm a loser, it helps y'all win, right? Okay, so, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, you putting chlorophyll in your water, great. I turn it around, I'm looking at the ingredients. So, as I look at the ingredients, I see it's chlorophyll, vegetable glycerin, and then this hit me, maltodextrin. But it says non-GMO maltodextrin, right? This is where they get you. 
Just because a bag says non-GMO doesn't mean it's good for you. This is chlorophyll, which is a great thing for you typically. However, it has non-GMO maltodextrin in it. That is not good. What is maltodextrin? All right. Maltodextrin is not good for you. Maltodextrin is higher on the glycemic index than regular white sugar. That is not good. That's going to spike your blood sugar levels. This is why we have diabetes. This is how, why we have kidney failure, kidney issues, right? Which leads to other issues. Because we can look at anything. If you have a kidney issue, we can trace that to something else. If you have a liver issue, we can trace that to something else, right? So the maltodextrin in this completely eliminates the fact that this is healthy. This is no longer healthy for you. This is chlorophyll. You think it's healthy, but you didn't read the label. It has maltodextrin in it, which they use in, which they use in all your processed foods. They use maltodextrin in all your processed foods to prolong the shelf life, right? That's why they can keep all this trash on the um, shelves in the stores for so long and you buy it and you look at it, it's still gonna expire for three damn years, right? Because they're putting maltodextrin in it. It's processed, it's pretty much a sugar that they use to prolong the shelf life, right? So why do I need that in my chlorophyll? My chlorophyll should be 100% chlorophyll. We don't need anything else in it. So therefore, this is no longer good for you. So when you're buying your herbs, you're buying your chlorophyll, your things like that, make sure you're reading the ingredients, all right? So I'm like, yo, I gotta put this in the video. This is a good talking point, all right? Copper's fine. So that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about water. Next, y'all see I got all these fruits and stuff here. So I just want to talk about, I went to the grocery store yesterday. Hold on, let me get a sip of my smoothie. So I went to the grocery store yesterday. Let me make sure this is still recording so I can upload it to YouTube. Give me one second. All right, should be good. Audio should be good. All right, so I went to the grocery store. I checked out. I'm like, you know what's crazy is people think that going vegan and plant-based is so expensive. And what I realized is people only think that going vegan and plant-based is so expensive because the stuff they're buying is not the good stuff, right? Because we got a misconception and vegans and vegetarians and stuff have a misconception that just because they're vegan and plant-based and pescatarian, whatever, that they're doing something healthy. There's some vegans, vegetarians, pescatarians, all that, that are just as unhealthy as anybody else that's eating red meat and soda every damn day. And they don't even realize it. Because all they're, all they're eating is processed, GMO, vegan foods, right? All right? If you're eating nothing but impossible burgers from Burger King every day, yeah, you're vegan. That doesn't mean you're healthy. You can eat Oreos every day. Yeah, that's vegan. That doesn't mean you're healthy. I believe even Skittles now are like vegan. I think they don't have um, pork in them anymore, right? Gelatin. So that's vegan. That doesn't mean that you're healthy. And many vegans are just starchitarians, which we talked about starch is super acidic, which is where disease lives in your body. So yeah, you're eating white rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're eating your own, like... You're eating nothing but starch and you think you're doing something healthy just because you're not eating meat. No, that doesn't mean you're healthy, right? So we got to watch that. So that's why you're spending money because you buy a pack of impossible meat or something. It's like $12 for a little thing of meat, of fake meat, right? And then you check out and your bill's $200, $300, dollars you are like, man, being vegan is too expensive. I can't do this. So I wanted to show you all what I got yesterday. This is literally everything I got which is literally what I would eat throughout the day, which is getting me everything I need throughout the day, excluding a few things I already had. Of course, I didn't need to act like I had nothing in the house. I had a few things. So I spent $45 yesterday. I spent $45. Let me show you what I got, right? I got red kale, all right? Let me open it so y'all can see. Organic red kale. So we're gonna talk about red kale. Y'all know I talk about kale a lot the difference between red kale and regular kale. So you can see it has this, you know, nice color to it, right? You can call it red kale. Some people call it purple kale running through it, right? It's not just all green. Now, the reason we want to deal, I'll wait, we want to deal with the red kale is simply because, first of all, you want to make sure it's organic, right? Then you want to make sure you clean it correctly. But on top of that, red kale is going to have more minerals in it than your regular kale. But regular kale is fine, just make sure it's organic. But if I can find red kale, I always go with the red kale because it's getting me more minerals, which we understand if you've been listening to me, if you follow any of the top holistic health, natural healer doctors, things like that, is that anybody who's suffering from disease and illnesses, an average of their lifespan, they've been functioning off of too little minerals, right? They haven't had enough minerals running through their body. So we find the average meat eater averages about 55 to about 65 minerals throughout their life. So that means for decades and decades, if you're 40 now, for 40 years, 
you've been averaging about 55 to 65 minerals. Then we find uh, vegetarian averages about 60 to 65 minerals. Then we find the average vegan averages about 70 to about 80 minerals, right? So this is going to get you more minerals. Any chance you get to get more minerals, take it, right? But again, nothing's wrong with regular kale. Just make sure it's organic, right? So this is going to get my minerals. This is going to get my iron. Kale is one of the best sources of iron. And again, the iron you're getting from kale is iron fluorine, not heme iron, all right? Heme iron, what it's doing is it's carcinogenic, as we talked earlier in this live. If you missed it, again, if you're just joining, subscribe to my YouTube. I'm going to be posting this live so y'all can rewatch it, y'all can pause it, y'all can watch it in slow-mo, y'all can take notes. YouTube, the same name. Instagram, the same name is where I'm, where I'm going to be posting this video, all right? So again... You want your minerals, you want to make sure you're functioning off of high minerals, that's how your body functions at a high level, not in depleted minerals, all right? But again, green kale's fine, red kale's going to be better, so any chance you can get more healthy minerals, take it, all right? So you want, this is going to get your iron. A lot of us have low energy, we're tired in the morning when we go to work or whatever the case may be, we don't want to get a workout in because we're low on iron. Iron is a great source of energy. So when, I, when you get up, like a lot of us will stand up from a chair like this really quick, and we'll be like... Light it, right, for a second until we come back. We get out of the elevator and we're like still feel like we're in the elevator. That's because your iron's low. So a lot of people are iron deficient. We want to make sure you're getting iron, all right? So that's a pretty simple breakdown of kale. Again, I spent $45, got everything I needed for the week or so. Dang, I'm flicking kale and stuff. <laughs> so that's your kale. Again, we talked about red kale over green kale, but both are great, okay? I'm going to go through and answer some questions too, but I really just want to make sure I get off the key points, let me double check, make sure the audio, everything still picking up. Because again, TikTok doesn't record my live, so I'm trying to record it myself so I can send it to my YouTube, to my Instagram. So I just want to make sure my phone is working. All right. Next, we got organic avocados. Pretty common. We know what this is. 100% organic avocado, right? We talked about it in the live, I believe, yesterday or the day before. If you're suffering from diabetes, you want more omega-3s, which you get from avocados, all right? We find that a lot of people suffer from diabetes, don't get enough omega-3s, all right? So also, these are going to be your healthy fats. Your omega-3s are going to be your healthy fats, right? So if you're trying to lose weight, it's not that you can't have fat. You want the healthy fats. You don't want the processed, hybrid GMO, nasty fat, right? You want the good fat, which is from your avocados. Then we also talk about avocados in the morning help your brain function at a higher level. So if you're going to work, if you're doing anything where you got to retain information, if you're reading books, if your kid's going to school, Give them omega-3s in the morning because we find that in cultures that typically eat omega-3s early in the day, they lead the world in technology, the Asian culture, right? The Asian community. Why? Because while we're eating processed, nonsense sugars and cereal, they're eating avocados and salmon for breakfast typically, right? Again, one of my exes was Asian. She's from Thailand, and I thought it was weird because I'd never seen that before. But again, when you know the information, you understand why, all right? So omega-3s in the early help your brain function at a higher level. Again, and we talked about the kale for your iron, for your energy, so you're not lightheaded, all right? Then you have your mangoes. I have plenty of videos on mangoes, all right? Mangoes are great just in general for your nutrients, your vitamins, your minerals, but also, again, well, it's funny, I can hear the seed in here. You wanna make sure your food has seed in it, all right? <laughs> so the seed in the mango is like a shank. If I was in jail or something, I would just eat off the top of the mango and just slice people up, right? <laughs> it's sharp as hell. So you got to be careful with the mango. So with the mango, again, we talked about eating it if you have anxiety, right? It produces a chemical called GABA in your brain, which calms your nervous system, calms you down, all right? You can research it. There's been plenty of studies from scientists showing that it's facts, right? So when you eat this, you, I typically eat it after 6 p.m. That's when I recommend it because in the evening is typically when people's anxiety is at the highest level. So you'll see people be like, why would you, your body knows what time it is. Yeah, it's called circadian rhythm. Once you learn circadian rhythm, you understand there's certain foods you could eat at certain times, all right? Now, with that being said, even if you don't believe in circadian rhythm, which you can analyze, people's anxiety spike at night because the sun goes down. When it gets dark, right, typically people's anxiety raises. Mine does. That's when I have all my worst anxiety attacks when I had them before I changed my diet and got rid of anxiety. All right. Which you can do the same thing without pills. I threw all the pills away the doctor tried to give me. As soon as he gave them to me, I didn't take them. Right. Because that's when I was eating poor again, because I've been exactly where anybody else is. I wasn't raised on this knowledge. I had to get this knowledge. 
over years and years and years. All right. So mango in the evening, that's great for you. So I always eat one of these in the evening. It's really filling. All right. Next, we'll talk about, of course, I have my apples, organic apples, right? You want to have those good nutrients in your apples, but let's get to the bananas. Cause I got a video on bananas. That was like one of my first like viral videos. So when it comes to bananas, we don't want the regular type of bananas. Let me get a drink real quick. My done smoothie melting. So I'm gonna talk about bananas, like one other, two other things. Then I'll try to answer some questions. So make sure I answer some questions. So with the bananas, you see I have some bananas here. What are they, what type? We don't deal with the regular bananas, all right? The regular bananas you're used to, that you see everywhere, that's super common, that's called a Cavendish banana. You can Google Cavendish banana. Google is Cavendish banana hybrid, whatever you want to do. C-A-V-E-N-D-I-S-H, Cavendish banana, all right? It is a hybrid banana. It causes more mucus in the body than almost every other food, which we've already determined mucus is the number one cause of any disease, right? So we got to eliminate the mucus from the body. So we don't want a regular Cavendish banana. It adds mucus to the body. So you're getting all your smoothies, your shakes, and you're like, oh, it's got banana in it. As soon as I see banana, I'll run, right? Because I know generally most places go to a smoothie shop or something, they're not using the right banana. They're using a Cavendish banana because it's the most common. It's also a clone. So pretty much every banana that's Cavendish is from the same exact banana. You can look it up, all right? So the bananas we want to use is a baby banana, all right? Baby banana has just as much potassium, all right? This is a good source of potassium. This is not hybrid. This does not cause mucus in the body, all right? So you want to deal with baby bananas in your smoothies and your shakes, whatever you're doing. Baby banana. If you're not using a baby banana, the only other banana you should be using, and yes, that means we should not be using plantains or any of that, right? Excuse me. You don't want to deal with plantains. They're hybrid also. They cause mucus, all right? This is a baby banana. Somebody just mentioned burrow banana I seen. This is a burrow banana, all right? So you have your baby banana and your burrow banana. They're the only two bananas you should be using. They're the only real bananas that don't cause mucus that are not hybrids, all right? So good thing about the burrow banana, as we talked about starches, right? Yeah, don't deal with plantains. I'm sorry. Sorry to break your heart, all right? Wish I could unbreak your heart. Say I love you again, but I can't, all right? <laughs> so... Burrow banana, which you can use. A lot of people use burrow bananas for anything where they would typically use potato. And why do we do this? Because again, potato is starch. Starch is acid. Disease lives in acid. So we got to start slowly. If you're addicted to starch, you got to get rid of the starches, right? So burrow banana is a great substitute. You can make this into like a mashed potato. It'll taste like it. You could take it and make it. Anytime you would typically use potatoes or mashed potatoes or anything like that, you can make this taste just like it. So look up some recipes, burrow banana, B-U-R-R-O. And again, baby banana, it tastes just like a Cavendish regular banana. It's not regular at all. It's a mutant banana, right? So we only want to deal with baby banana, burrow banana. You can use the burrow banana for any time where you want to make something taste like potatoes. All right. So with that being said, if you're just joining this whole live, y'all done missed a lot if you're just joining. If somebody shared it to you, subscribe to my YouTube, same name, T Walk the Hawk, search it, I'll come up. I'm gonna post this whole video to my YouTube. Let me double check to make sure it's still recording. All right, so we should be good. We should be good. So subscribe to the YouTube, follow me on Instagram, same name. I'm gonna be posting this probably to my Instagram, uh, what is it, Instagram, whatever it is, stories. And I'm also gonna post it, sorry, IGTV and to my um, YouTube. So follow me, YouTube, same name. Instagram, same name, all right? So we just talked about bananas. We talked about water. We talked about chlorophyll. We talked about pink salt. We talked about which type of kale to get. We talked about mangoes, apples, which type of banana, what to use for what. We talked about avocados, why omega-3s are important. We talked about diabetes, right, all that. So I think that covers everything. Actually, no. Then I got some walnuts, right? Walnuts, right? Again, I spent $45 on all this, right? Other than the stuff I already had in the house, which is my hemp seed, um, what is it? My spirulina. Uh, yeah. So I spent $45 and covered everything I need. The only reason you're spending a lot when you're vegan, cause you're getting all this trash vegan stuff. All right. So walnuts are important. We talked about walnuts. They're high in selenium. Selenium's great for your immune system, 
for your external immune system. We have an internal immune system. We have an external immune system. Your biggest organ in your body is your skin, right? Your immune system externally is typically weak because you're not getting enough selenium. So now when you're touching these door handles and stuff, what's happening? That first level of your immune system isn't working. It's going into your body. Now it's up to your internal immune system to fight it off. And your internal immune system is weak because you're feeding it nothing but trash, hybrid GMO, processed, boxed foods, right? So it all comes into play together. So walnuts are a great source of selenium. What we also find in research is anybody who's typically low in selenium, sorry, anybody who's diabetic is typically low in selenium. So we would want to increase our selenium if we're diabetic. We would want to increase our omega-3s if we're diabetic, right? So you want this for your external immune system. We also talked about, I have a detailed video breaking down. I won't go in detail because this is already a long live, right? Long workshop. They're great for you if you have anxiety, uh, depression and things like that to help with your mental health, all right? But again, I said, I've been saying this in my lives, we can add all the good stuff we want. If we don't get rid of the bad stuff, it's not gonna reverse any illness, it's not gonna reverse any disease, it's not gonna help you get any healthier. Because if we keep eating the processed G GMO hybrid, terrible meats and things like that, but we start adding in walnuts and eating one of these a day on top of it, that's not getting rid of anything. We gotta remove it from your body, remove the bad things, add the good things. Just like a credit score, right? Your credit score ain't gonna go up just because, oh, this month you had a little extra cash and you could pay your card on time. You could put your minimum payment of $30 on your card on time, right? That's not gonna improve your credit because you've been missing payments for the last decade, right? You got cards that are fully maxed out for the past two years, right? So that's not gonna improve your credit. Just like just throwing in some walnuts and some green stuff isn't it gonna improve your health. We gotta get rid of the bad stuff add the positive. That's how we improve our credit score. So we got to improve our body's credit score, right? That's why we can't get approved for nothing, right? <laughs> so only thing we can get approved for is some damn pills from a doctor, which we shouldn't want, right? So we talked about walnuts. Then I'll get some figs. So I'll snack on figs, right? Figs are a great score source of magnesium and calcium, all right? So that's like something I'll snack on if I want something sweet. Instead of candy, I'll snack on some figs. I'll snack on like dried mango, but when you're getting your dried food, fruits and snacking on them, what happens is a lot of those are covered in like all the cane sugar and stuff. So anytime I'm getting a bag of like dried mango, which I would use for my candy, instead of Skittles or some Starburst or something like that, I'm going to get some dried mango. I'm going to turn it around and make sure the only ingredient on that bag is dried mango. All right. Dates are great also. Dates are one of your best sources of sweetener. So if you want to sweeten anything, you would take your date and you would use that as a sweetener. You mix it with water and it turns into a nice syrupy texture and there's your sweetener. That's the best, healthiest uh, sweetener you can get. If you don't do that, then you would want organic agave nectar. Low on the glycemic index, it's not going to spike your blood sugar levels. So you don't have to worry as much about diabetes. If you're diabetic, you may be able, depending on how your health is, to include that if you want a sweetener instead of your white sugar and syrup and your honey and stuff like that. We've been talking about honey, all right? So that's pretty much it. I've been live for over an hour now. Just wanted to really touch everything. If you're just getting in, you missed all this, it's going to be uploaded to my YouTube, YouTube slash T Walk the Hawk, youtube.com slash T Walk the Hawk, or just search T Walk the Hawk in your search bar. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing these workshops and uploading them there. All right. So you can rewatch it, pause it, take notes, whatever you need to do. Yes, honey is bee vomit, right? Honey is used to feed the baby bees just like cow's milk is used to feed the baby cows, not humans, right? And honey is also higher on the glycemic index, so it's gonna spike your blood sugar levels, all right? Yeah, if you missed it from the beginning, subscribe to the YouTube, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna upload it to my IGTV probably, and I'm definitely uploading it to my YouTube, same name, T Walk the Hawk. It's been like an hour and a half or so. We talked about memory, dementia, Alzheimer's yesterday. That's uploaded to my YouTube, so for whoever asked that, going to want to go to to my YouTube channel, check out the video on Alzheimer's, what's causing it, how to limit it, how to prevent it, and things like that. Yeah, definitely. Type 1, type 2 diabetes, the same things do not always apply. That is correct. All right. So yeah, if you're in this live, hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment the flex emoji if you did, right? Let me know you enjoyed it. If you're in here, you're a follower, you're a supporter, I'm assuming. So be a loyal supporter because I take this time out to be loyal to y'all. 
this is my Friday. I was just going to chill today. I'm like, no, I'm going to put on an hour or two hour workshop to help people out as much as possible for free. So all I ask for you to do is when I post a new video or my most recent videos, comment the flex emoji, comment, say this helped. If it did just show engagement, it helps me. It helps my page, which helps more people out. Cause when you engage, when you share the videos, what happens is now that video gets pushed in the algorithm. So more people find out about me, they watch the videos and then they learn about natural healing and natural health and they can improve their health. They can teach it to their family. So now we're helping generations and generations just from you sharing the video and commenting on it. So that's all I ask is to have some loyal supporters. I know y'all follow, but just cause you following don't mean you actually supporting. Show some support, comment the flex emoji, share the videos to help other people out. Stop being selfish with the information, all right? <laughs> That's all I ask. Don't be selfish with the information. Help some other people out, all right? With that being said, I'm about to hop off. I'll answer a couple more questions if I see them as they scroll through and get y'all on the right track. If you're in here, if you want the custom coaching, again, I do, I've been doing these workshops daily. So you get a free damn half hour to two, three hour workshop daily, all right? You get minimum three free videos daily. For a lot of y'all, you still aren't 100% sure on how to put a game plan together, simply message me. Custom coaching is 40 for one month or 80 for three months. No contract, you pay Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle. Soon as you message me, message me now. I'll respond to your message as soon as I see it, as soon as I get to it within the next 24, 48 hours. All right, figure out your goals. I'll send you the link to make the payments, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle. And then after that, I'll confirm. We're gonna figure out your goals, get more in depth, your starting weight, your injuries, food allergies. Do you wanna be vegan? Do you wanna stick with meat? It doesn't matter, it's based on you. I'm not forcing anybody to be vegan. I'm just gonna give you the healthiest options to get to your specific goal, all right? Within five business days, I'll have it sent to your email. You'll be the next client testimonial that I posted daily for four months straight. I just posted a new one today. Had a client lose 14 pounds in, I believe, one month. And I have plenty of clients lost 50 pounds, lost 70 pounds, lost 100 plus. So yeah, we get it in. Comment your questions. Agave, yes, agave is good. Agave nectar is good. We grab a phone, make sure we still recording. I think I can take it off this now. Let me just double check. All right. Just want to make sure all this is still recording. Again, follow me on Instagram. Same name. All right. Message me on Instagram. Message me on here if you want the coaching. We have testimonials everywhere, there, there. It's like over 300 testimonials on a page. Uh, let's see if I can pull up my YouTube for y'all real quick, just so y'all can see it. Honey's high on the glycemic index, meaning it's gonna cause your blood sugar levels to spike. I do not recommend honey. And if you care about being plant-based, vegan, anything like that, um, it is not vegan, it is bee vomit, and they feed it to the kids. So yeah, I got to upload, talked yesterday about Alzheimer's, should you be drinking apple cider vinegar, a lot of y'all be all on that, so watch that. Talked about anxiety, talked about knee pain, talked about cancer, then I have workouts, I have tons of videos. So you're going to want to go to the page, subscribe, I have playlists set up, so you can see if you're looking to gain weight, if you're looking to lose weight. Like whatever the case may be, at home routines, like a lot of stuff, stuff on anxiety, get to know me, like a lot of stuff, a lot of old stuff, weight loss advice, over 92 videos on that, just some motivation, just me talking, just talking to y'all like I do. So subscribe to the YouTube, same name, Instagram, same name, is where I post my client testimonials daily. Again, if you want coaching, 40 for one month, 80 for three months, so you're saving 40, that's the special I'm keeping since I just hit 400,000 uh, followers. So yeah, just, we can go through all these, fitting the clothes better, um, gain five pounds. This person's goal is to gain 15, right? So we do weight gain, weight loss. This person lost 11. This is a client testimonial. i um, glad I came across your TikTok. They say, you spoke about sour sop. So this is one of my clients. His mom actually had cancer. He's been following me. He let me know his mom no longer has cancer, right? By changing the diet. Down 18 pounds. Went from a size 14 to size 40. These are all different clients. Some are coming on my live. Again, we got these client testimonials. We can go forever. Lost 51 pounds on my live. Much thinner. Lost 42 pounds. One of my clients emailed me. Lost 8 pounds and a lot of inches on the waist. Lost 25 pounds. 
Your package is wonderful. Again, I under promise, over deliver. New clients switch my diet, begin my workout, feel great after week one. Lost 11 pounds, five inches off waistline, two inches off arms, thighs, and hips. That's after about a month. Lost 24 pounds, lost 14 pounds, lost five pounds. Again, if y'all been on my lives before, this is the one I posted today, lost 13 pounds in a month. I can go for hours and hours of client testimonials. So again, if you want the coaching, go with that. If you don't, where did all my page go? If you don't want the coaching, that's fine. Follow all the free advice and I'll get y'all right, all right? So yeah, testimonials there on my page if you wanna see those. Testimonials here. I'm not gonna bore y'all with all the testimonials. All these little dots are all testimonials. You know, lost six pounds, lost eight pounds, lost five pounds, lost 30 pounds, 10 pounds, eight pounds, 15 pounds. It's just a transformation. And it just goes. There's many who lost 40, 50, 70, 80 pounds, lost 64 pounds. So again, custom coaching 40 for the full month, no contract. There's a client testimonial. My client lost 64 pounds. I posted it. Another client came on and said, I've been working with you two months. This is the third month and I love the material. Recommends me. That's great. Lost nine pounds. So yeah, lost 45 pounds, 60 pounds. Like you can go read these. I'm not going to read them to you word for word. This is all on my page, all different people. You can message the client to see if it's real or if I'm just making this up. It's up to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me stop recording.